All right. So uh, when we first started this, we we evolved. We changed the fights over and over. We've pretty much got a good solid strategy at this point. If you if you're looking in the back, you'll see that there's the four icons, and then you have the star in the middle. Uh, what we want to do is when we parachute in, we want to kill off X, triangle, and square. Meanwhile, I need to make sure that all my range DPS are standing in the middle. So all range need to be DPS need to try to go ahead and just stand in the middle and get this practiced so you know what's going on. So if you're a ranger, you need to be where star is at right now. Come on. Move to the star. Move to the star. Everybody move to the star that's a ranger. Come on. I see Hang on, I'm making a call. I see someone out there trying to take a poo. Um, now, since he's out there making his cauldron and whatnot, um, so rangers will stay in the center as as normal. Meleeers will knock out this last one here, and we need to wait for the first fiery grip. Once that first fiery grip happens, let heart of fire do the damage. Okay. The reason why I'm tell I say this is because last night, or Tuesday night when we were in here, everybody was damaging that corruption tentacle, and we let it, it die too quickly. And then we had another add up. So we need to let Heart do that. If Heart is snagged, then I need to depend probably basically on She-Devil to go ahead and, and tap it a couple of good times. Okay, that, that's only if, of course, if, white, uh, if, white, uh, if Heart of Fire should get hit. Uh, now, once Heart takes out the grip, we move into this hole. Okay, so everybody needs to move into the hole. Come on, move, move. Practice, 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 practice. Dark Tide. Mm-hmm. And we will roll. Here's the best way I can tell you that when you've rolled, you'll see the big ads leave. You'll see the big ads come off of Deathwing. Okay? When that happens, everybody needs to get out of that hole immediately. You have a debuff on you. The longer you stay in that hole, the more damage happens to you. Rangers need to get Groot back up. Meleeers all need to move up to the wall. So come to the star, Meleeers. This includes Up Dog too, or not Up Dog. I mean Dog Dog Nomad moves up here too. Okay. This way, all melee are up front. All rangers are in the back. When the blood. Uh, the rangers will finish off the corruption that's still standing, okay? When that happens, meleeers, don't worry about it. I want you to stay in put, and dog is going to start taunting over bloods. Kill the first two bloods where you're standing melee, okay? It's vitally that you do that because we need to absorb the first two, or we wipe out the, the ad so fast with our debuffs on him that we won't be able to catch back up with the, with the nine stacks. So, white dragons tonight, for example, will grab the will grab the ad and put him in position. At this time, dog nomad and white dragons will grab ads. Okay, so everybody just stay focused on the big ad. White dragons and dog nomad will grab the bloods. No AOEs. No, you know, nothing that could cause dam an AOE damage needs to go out at this point. Everybody needs a single target on the big ad. We'll have fiery grips come out, which Heart of Fire will take care of, and we will continue that way. Once he hits 25%, which our DPS is at that point that may change with groups, but once he hits 25%, we need to let him absorb some bloods. Well, how do we do that? Okay. Well, when he hits 9, meleeers need to run over to the rangers. So... White Dragons absorbs all these bloods that we killed off because we stopped DPS and Meleeers start running over to the range. And I say burn him and everybody starts going back on the boss. We get the boss down to his nuke phase. White Dragons runs into the group. We do a big AOE heal, something to give us a, enough time to take the nuke to the face because there's going to be no way to avoid it. The nuke will happen and depending on what side the ad is standing on when he explodes, that side of Deathwing's armor is going to come up. When that does, you'll see a burning burning tendon. That is the tendon that you need to attack automatically. This does not stop fiery grip. So if you get fiery grip, 
call out, you know, White Dragons has fiery grip, and so that um, White Heart can get on it, or if White Heart gets caught, it's much more easier for She Devil to go, oh yeah, and knock it out. Okay, while this is happening, Dog is going to continually grab the bloods. Okay, he's going to continually grab these bloods, and he's going to continually have to control them back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Okay. Rangers, the biggest thing that you guys have got to remember is stay on the middle of the spine and move up. Okay? That's all you need to do is move up. Move up to a good distance. Don't worry about, you know, if you're too far, too close. The best rule for thumb is if you guys started back here on the on the hole that we ran in the first time, move up to the next hole that's in the middle. Okay? And the reason why we do that is so that that way the taunts, because even I have problems reaching you with my taunts, which, by the way, tanks, we lo we all have one taunt in Mr. Pandaria, sorry. Um, it's much more easier for us to taunt them off of you and bring them up to the melee. This stops two things. One, it stops you guys from the rangers back here from having the debuff constantly put on you. Two, it gives the healers the ability to just focus heals on the melee and tanks that are up front because they're going to receive the debuff when the bloods die. Okay? It's a rinse and repeat process. The only difference is when we take off the second piece of armor of Deathwing off his back, I need all melee because Dog is going to be continually, like I said, controlling the adds. I need all melee to, con to take down the bloods that are on board right now. Okay? So when we reach the third piece of armor, melee kill off the bloods that dog is in, that dog is tanking. Rangers, you focus on killing off the corruptions that are around us. Except, always remember, the only corruption we will not kill is this one right here. That's always on this side of Deathwing's armor. Okay? That way it makes it easier on everybody. So, when I say stop DPS, and Strange is helping me out there because sometimes I'm focused on cooldowns and whatnot. If you hear stop DPS, stop, stop DP DPS, stop DPS, and focus on killing off bloods. Once we've killed off enough bloods, we'll absorb. I'll push him back to the wall. Melee will run to the range. We m knock, uh, knock the add down to where he starts his nuke phase. White runs out. We blow a cooldown to get ourselves healed. And then we cauldron, but I did already. Sucka. Um, and then we start the burning tendon again. Now, here's the thing, okay? When we, when we do this, the first one, you must use, um, you must use your personal, uh, attacks, or your, your personal trinkets and things like that. We will use, uh, time warp or hero on the second one, and on the third one is when we need to use our remaining trinkets that are you know the big trinkets the cool the ones that are not on cooldown and such things like that um that way we can basically because that second phase is where we get really really you know hit hard and uh we just need to make sure we blow through it as quick as possible this helps the healers mana as well